everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome back to my craft room. We're going to do a fun little spring craft today. Spring is sprung, and I think it's time to do some spring. What do we got going on here? Some spring crafts, right? I know it is still snowing and sleeting up in the colder states, but maybe we can usher spring in for you here right okay so what we're going to be using is i think i did 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 i got 12 of these um craft well i get these at um hobby lobby or no, no. I get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. And they're just called, it's a 30 pack of quart paint sticks. That's what they call them. But you can use the ones at the Dollar Tree or Walmart. They're just jumbo tongue depressors, really, is what I like to call them. All right, so I have 12 of them all taped together with some uh, painter's tape. And the reason I did that is because I think it's easier to paint them all at the same time that way. So I'm going to be using white by Waverly Chalk Paint, but any white will do. We're going to go ahead and give this a good little um, paint job, and then we can get into our napkin craft. We're going to be using this Hello Spring napkin from the Dollar Tree. It's got a cute little wheelbarrow on it, and I don't normally go right in the paint bottle, but I'm going to this time. <laughs> and we are just going to give this a zhuzhing up with our white paint. It doesn't have to be perfect. We do want our sticks to be pretty white but like I said it doesn't have to be perfect um, we will definitely be zhuzhing it up with some Waverly antique wax so I'm just gonna give these 12 sticks a good brush of white paint and then let it dry or I'll probably dry it with the, uh, the heat gun but I'm going to give these a good paint job and then we will be right back as soon as these are dried. So go ahead and tape your sticks together, paint them up, and we will be right back. Okay, so our sticks are all dry. Now I'm going to turn them over and I'm going to take my tape off of all of them. And I am going to hold on to that tape because I am going to line up all my sticks so that they are all even. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to like make sure that they're all the same on the sides. Like so. See what I mean? I got a good edge. I'm using a clear ruler. Hope you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take two more of my, I'm just calling them big popsicle sticks. And I'm going to put these on, fasten them on the back so that we can, oops, I just moved that a little bit. Let's see if we can. Push that down and keep this straight. As straight as we can. One of these doesn't seem to fit right for some reason. Let's see if we can get this down here. I don't know. All right, well, we're doing the best we can. So now we're going to take the next one and go from the bottom up. That's what, That way we covered all of our sticks with one or the other, right? That is going to... We might need another one in the middle, but I'm hoping that just two sticks will be good enough to hold all of our sticks nice and sturdy. 
But if we do need another one, we'll add another one. That'd be no problem. So just holding that down. And then, yeah, we're going to definitely put another one. Let's put a couple of, maybe we'll cut one. Because this is not, this is not going to do the trick. So we need to put another one here. And make sure that those are all in the right place. one has a little spot where it needs some glue to hold and then we'll use our other piece we got to cut it a little more down on the other side that way we have two full runners we may have to trim this a little bit more on the edge I didn't cut it short enough and then let me cut this off sticking out a little too much from my lighting and scissors do the trick perfectly fine and so there now we have our board all surfaces are all connected I think I'm going to put a little glue here because this one needs a little more reassuring right here hold that down for a one second and then we're going to get into ripping up our napkin the ripping up of the napkin is so much fun let me put my paintbrush in water um, so I have two napkins here, right? Because in case we make a mistake with one, because we're going to rip our napkins, actually rip them using our fingers. And I'm going to just put this piece of tape right back down the middle, if we can use it still. And um, that's just going to help while well this glue sets up, right? That's not going to hurt our project at all just push that right there okay so this is still really hot so I'm just going to move this aside and we're gonna get into ripping up our napkin so we're gonna open our napkin up and then we have to take off our other layers so I'm gonna just take another little piece of tape painter's tape and I'm just going to take it over in the corner and look at that it picks up the first layer just like that it actually this is only a two layer napkin so get rid of that and we will save this it's a good little paper towel okay our napkin so now what I like to do an itch here itchy itchy I had a little sunburn and um, it's getting itchy on my shoulders okay I'm gonna cut this just so it's a little bit easier and more manageable so I'm gonna cut the first piece that says hello spring and I'm gonna use this one to start with okay so we'll just weigh this down and put it over here next to us we'll put our little wooden whoop, 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 flying away because I have an air conditioner and a fan here overhead so what I like to do is wet my fingers I have a little cup with some water just regular old water I like to just take my fingers and rip and and wet them and then I like to just pull around my napkin with my wet fingers and it just goes it tears so easy when I need them wet again I'll just wet my fingers again the fan is definitely not my friend here today overhead working with a napkin but we will get it done we will get it done all right now I'm gonna keep this part which says, says hello spring because we're gonna use that and I'm not done ripping my edges, so I want my little watering can. 
we're ripping around the edges because when we rip around the edges, it makes the edges disappear under Mod Podge. So it's kind of the fiber in the paper that you're ripping, um, it thins it out and it just makes it disappear. It's really a cool effect. So just keep ripping around your little paw, your little ladybugs. This napkin is so cute. It's in the spring fling section. All right, now we have a whole bunch of little pieces of little balls of paper. Okay, so that's what I have for my first thing. We ripped around the edges, just like so. Lay that down now, put something on top of that so it doesn't blow away. Now I'm going to rip out my Hello Spring, but in the meantime, I'm going to be ripping away at the little tiny flowers and the little tiny ladybugs. So put them down and don't let them fly away. We're getting to our Hello Spring. And if you rip the Hello Spring, just get another napkin. Or actually, there's six other Hello Springs on one napkin. And I like to go as close as possible with my ripping just so there's not a lot of extra paper and you can do this with a paintbrush you can put this down flat and do this with just a regular wet paintbrush if you don't want to use your fingers but I find it pretty easy to use my fingers sometimes even easier and if you get like a whole ladybug soaked that's okay it'll dry all right my things are all blowing away i need to get back here we're holding you down with that all right now i'm gonna leave all of these little pieces that i have left over the little flowers and little ladybugs because they're blowing away, I'm going to do them one at a time on my project. So, I am just going to stick this up here with something on it to weigh it down to hold it. Now, let's take our, our surface back and I think, let's see, there's a little something there. Let's get rid of that. Now, I want to give it a little sanding because that's the kind of effect that I like. I want this to be rustic and primitive and sweet and just not a full coverage. Just, you know, you know, <laughs> I hate sanding, but I'm going to push down good on my ends here, get my paint you know so that it looks like it's been distressed and my edges are kind of outlined now I'm gonna do this side and I'm giving it really good pressure because I really want to sand those edges we're not sanding them we are but we're not sanding them to get them you know smooth we're just sanding them to get them distressed now I'm going to go up to the top edge, really distress the top edge, and the bottom edge. I'm trying to get into the pool for exercise now that I have my stitches out, and um, it's been do I've been doing great. I've been going in every day, and... I'm going to move my little cup of water over here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take our big piece that we ripped, and we're going to just Mod Podge that on. Hold that down, get a little Mod Podge brush. This one probably is a good Mod Podge brush. And I got a big Mod Podge open over here. We'll grab that. 
I think I can just go ahead and use what's on the cap because we don't want it really, really sticky, you know? We want a less is best. Let's figure out where we're gonna want this. So we're gonna have Hello Spring. So I'm just gonna kinda go here in the middle. All right, so I'm just gonna put it on my surface because we're gonna do the whole surface over anyway on top of all of our napkin. We're just going to put the wheelbarrow down in the middle, rub it out with our fingers, smooth, smooth, smooth. Need a little more Mod Podge, we'll put a little bit more Mod Podge, smooth that out. And you can see, I have one folded over here, but you can see the edges just disappear. They totally just disappear with the ripped edges. Let's get a little under here. And you can go over it now a little bit on the edges too if you want to lay those down. Okay, now we're going to put on our happy, or no, it says hello spring. Hello spring, and I think we'll put our hello spring on a little slant. Um, let me get a little bit more. Ooh, that was a lot of Mod Podge. Let me see where I'm gonna. So I'm gonna put mine up here on a little slant. That's what's fun about being able to take a napkin apart because you can use all of the parts, but you can design it the way you want it. So put that on, get those wrinkles out if you can. And if you don't, if you have a little wrinkle, don't worry about it. We're gonna Mod Podge the whole thing over. A little over here, we get some flyaways. And there is our Hello Spring. We're just gonna put a little down around the edges. Hello Spring. Look at that, how cute is that already? Now we're going to do what I said. We're going to take our other piece of, oh, we have one already done because I was going to do them all at the same time. So we're just going to put this little bouquet of flowers somewhere. I'm going to rip off a little bit more of the paper. And I think I will just Mod Podge this run down right here. Right there. Just a little bouquet up there. See how I just stuck that little bouquet on in the middle there? Now we're going to do that with all of our other flowers and ladybugs. So here's a little ladybug. I'm just going to rip off as much paper around the ladybug. And I'm doing this one dry. That works too if you can do it. It's just that the water makes it really, really easy. All right, and now I'm just gonna stick our little ladybug on. Get a little bit more Mod Podge. Let's stick a little ladybug right here. And that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna see and place flowers wherever you feel you need. I want this all decorated all over our little because there's just so many cute little flowers and embellishments on this napkin and we don't want to we don't want to lose them i'm just going to mod podge another one down here sometimes it wrinkles when you put it down you just need to take a pair of tweezers and get the wrinkle out Oops, don't fly away on me. Don't fly away. All right, I got another little ladybug. I'm going to use this whole napkin. Just going to Mod Podge another little ladybug down here. Get 
These are the cutest little napkins. And we have this cute little trio of flowers. I'm going to rip around that one. Oh, I ripped that one. Let me get another napkin. I mean, the other part of our napkin. And let me find where that was. Let me get my... I'm just going to rip this out roughly. This is the one I want. And I already moved my water, but I'm just going to dry rip because I'm going to use my fingernails and kind of rip it. And really, you're just trying to get as close to the little flower or ladybug or whatever on your napkin as you can and just rip off what you don't need. So this one we will put, let's get some more Mod Podge. This one's gonna go right here. We're just dotting this all over. Just anywhere we can put a little doodad. All right, let's grab another flower. How about this, let's see, how about this flower here? And that's really all you're doing is just ripping out and putting it on. Instead of putting it on all the whole napkin at once, we're, we're actually decoupaging it. We are, my fingers are full of dried paper. <laughs> Stucky, sticky dried paper. I'm going to stick another one on, and you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to go around, stick your little bits and bobs. I'm going to grab another ladybug here. I'm sticking to the napkin pretty bad right now because my fingers have Mod Podge. So this might be our last little ladybug. Then we're going to do a beaded hanger. Put a little ladybug up here. How cute is this? And now we have to go over our whole entire We have to go through our whole over our whole thing with Mod Podge now. So I'm just going to put a little of my Mod Podge. Woo! That came out really fast. I'm just going to put a little Mod Podge in my cap, but I actually put a lot. And I am just going to go over my whole photo here that we made. Our Hello Spring. And we're just going to cover our whole board. That way the whole thing will be, I'm using a satin. No, I'm not, I'm using a matte. So the whole thing will be matte when we're done. I tend to use more matte in my craft room because I feel like it's more primitive. Um, shiny just feels more not primitive or not rustic to me. So I tend to use a lot of matte Mod Podge just to tone things down. So we're going to just go and put it all over our napkin and seal that right in. It will look like it was meant to be. It came on these sticks from the factory. <laughs> seal that all in. Give this whole thing a good coat. We'll dry it up and then we will make a beaded hanger for it. This is such a satisfying craft, right? Sometimes it's the simplest crafts that satisfy me the most. All right, that ought to do it. Get our edges really good. Top and bottom good. Pour what's left of this Mod Podge back in the cap here because we did get quite a bit out. And then 
we will put our brush in water grab a napkin I'm gonna wash my hands I am going to blow dry our project here you can tell it's really wet with Mod Podge we're gonna give that a nice dry with the heat gun and when that's all dry I'll be right back okay our project is nice and dry so cute isn't that cute love 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 it all right now I have some beads here that are left over from other strands of beads um, that we have bought from the Dollar Tree and they've been on different um, different um, beaded garlands okay so we have some from St. Patrick's Day we have all different ones what we're gonna do is just take our little bead uh, beater and this is always in the description below in my descriptions if you want a link to this beater and what we're going to do is kind of do a pattern backwards let's see if i can get all these down and not roll so i thought we would start with a orange bead so you just put your orange bead on your beater then I'm going to do a, hmm, I guess I will do a blue one next, and then I'm going to do pink, and then I'm going to do teal, then I'm going to do white. Let's see. One, two, we're going to do this like this okay and then we need a green we'll put a green all right so there's that now I'm gonna do the same thing only the other way because I want my orange bead to be on the other side you'll see what I mean so now I'm gonna do another green put another green and we're gonna go backwards so then we need white and then we'll need teal. And then we need pink, blue, and then orange. And we're at the end of our bead. We're at the end of our beater. So we only have a little teeny weeny hole that we have to get through here. Hopefully we can put that in there with no problem because as long as we can get our jute through this hole, <laughs> let me just make a little needle out of my jute so that I can not let it fray while I'm trying to get it through. We have a lot of beads this time. This should be really easy to do, and it is giving me a hard time here. So bear with me. We'll get it. We will get it. All right, we're getting it. Oh, we don't have all of it. There we go. We have our string through. Now we just pull our beads onto our jute. Ta-da! So see, it's backwards. So when we separate this, we're gonna have our orange together. Hope that made sense. All right, let's cut it off of our jute and get our project back in front of us here. And now we have to tie a knot at both ends so that our jute, so that our beads don't fall off of our jute. Do a three three knot there. Nice big knot, and we'll cut off a lot of our excess. Push that down, and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make another knot. There is gonna be a little bit of a gap in between our beads. That's okay. That's why we put it backwards so that our 
can't talk and walk at the same time sometimes. That's why we put them backwards so that they would hang right. I'll show you. You'll see. Let me get this knot in the right place. Jiminy Cricket, I can't get this knot to land in the same place, place twice here. That, that ought to hold it. <laughs> All right, let's just cut off a lot of this excess here. We're going to flip this baby over and glue this onto the back of our project. using the knot and our long little piece of tail that we have left. Probably could put a little um, piece of stick here too, just to give it another little bit of secureness. Anchor that just a little bit better. We have some cut from when we did our carrot. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Whoops, we need a glue stick. I want to say um, hello to Edith or Edie. I'm not sure how you say your name. She just had a big back surgery. And um, she is recovering from back surgery. I know back surgery, boy. I had a big back fusion I've had neck fusion so I am completely understanding where she is at the moment so I want to say hey Edith I hope you are doing okay um, I did get a message from you on uh, Instagram so just let letting you know what I'm thinking of you and if any of you are praying people go ahead and say a quick prayer for Edith while she recovers from major, major back surgery. All right, so this is going to be finished as soon as we feel like this is gonna be uh, done gluing so that we can hold it up. And I'm not gonna add a bow. I think this is just perfect the way it is, but you could add a little bow if you wanted to this project. Look how sweet that is. The beads match all the colors in oh, we have orange and pink and blue and green so all of our flowers match i i'm not done i want to put a little antique waverly wax on mine you don't have to do this step but i love to zhuzh it up with a little of this so let me get a good stencil brush here nice stiff one and get a little bit of our Waverly Wax on here. I like to come in, especially where we sanded, I like to come in from the outside edges with my Waverly Wax. And do you see how this like napkin just, dis should have done this before I put the beads on, but do you see how the napkin just disappears under this project because we ripped the edges of it all right now I'm just gonna do all the way across with my brush so that the whole thing is distressed napkin and all and there you have it beautiful piece love it love it love it and I hope you love it too. I had so much fun making it. It's such a satisfying craft. I just love it. I really do. I can't say anything else about it, but I love it. I love the scalloped edges that we have from our, I just love it. I just think it's so cute. I hope you guys like it too. This is a great time to give me a thumbs up. Sharing is caring, so go ahead and share this video with your friends, family, and social media. It really does help my channel grow, and I hope that you are all subscribed. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. We are trying to grow our channel here, so if you hit that subscribe button, we're doing a giveaway when we get up to 700 subscribers. And um, I want you to be able to win. And if I pull your name and you're not subscribed, I'll have to pull another one. 
So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell if you want to know each and every time YouTube will tell you every time I upload a video. All right, so until then, come see me over on Saturday nights, Angel Creations Facebook. We have a lot of fun over there. We do a live craft where you can interact with me in person. Love to have you. All right, everybody, until I see you next time, I hope that you be good and do good. Bye now.